Welcome to speed painting the Bork here Thunderkin from the Leagues of Wotan. The build itself is pretty easy, but if you want to magnetize, I have the tips for you. Any 1mm thick magnet will do, but I do recommend this 4x1mm round. You will want to build up the complete models, but keep the three weapon options separate. Apply some super glue to the center of the belts of each model and apply a magnet to it. With the method that I'll be using, polarity shouldn't matter. On the guns, you're going to use these thin sheet metal pieces that you can get from dollar store baking pans or Altoids tins. You will cut them up with these sheet metal shears like this into 2 by 4 millimeter rectangles. Super glue these rectangles onto the backs of the guns in these areas shown here. One of the advantages of using sheet metal instead of an opposing magnet is that it allows you to easily adjust the position of the gun so that it can mate with the magnet on the body. It is a little bit less sensitive to where you put the magnet or the sheet metal. Once you're done magnetizing, everything should be ready to paint. Using zenithal highlighting like I did in the other videos, I start with black primer on all the models. I also make sure to black prime the weapons. Switch to white primer and spray it onto the models at a 30 degree angle all the way around. But do not spray white on the weapons, I have other plans for these. My primary color is yellow, so I use zealot yellow on the upper torsos of the Thunderkin. I put a few drops of Crusader skin in my palette and I apply it to the faces. Hardened leather speed paint goes on the belts and on the caps. My army's secondary color is army green, which goes on the sleeves and on the pants of the models. It also goes on the blast shields on the shoulder and the legs of the models. I use dark stone on the boots and on the knee pads. Gunmetal silver goes on quite a few areas. It goes on the exoskeleton, on the legs, the arms, the servos, and multiple areas on the model. Notice that I'm using a fairly broad brush for this, and it helps me lay down the color much faster and saves a lot of time. Also notice that you can be fairly precise with this brush if you just turn it 90 degrees. There are also areas of the weapons that require silver as well. Here, I show where I lay down the color on each weapon type. When painting the weapons, don't forget the claw-like hands that are on the front and on the rear. I painted these silver, but depending on what color you choose, you'll want to make sure you paint it at this step. I use some normal acrylic leather brown for the straps around the thighs. For the various wires and cables, you can pick any color, but ultramarine blue works well with my color scheme. I go ahead and lay down that color on all the cables that I find. Electric blue acrylic paint goes on the goggles and on the center lit element. Now I'm gonna do some dry brushing with uniform gray using a makeup brush on all the weapons. Since they're still in their matte black primer state, a lot of their features are very hidden. The dry brushing will allow those features to pop a little bit more. I generously apply strong tone wash to all the areas except for the yellow and face areas. Those were speed painted, so they do not need any washes. Also wash the silver areas on the weapons. To finish off the models, I use white and black acrylics. I apply white into the eye sockets with a small brush, followed by black with the sharp tip of a toothpick to pick out the pupils. 
the decals are straightforward. Just pick the league symbol of your choice, cut them out, dip them in water, and then using Microset, apply it onto the shoulder pad, and then transfer the decal onto your brush, and then onto the shoulder pad. As always, I use simple material basing, Elmer's glue, an old brush to brush it in, and then dip the entire base into the material basing of your choice. Finally, just clean up the base trims with some black primer. At this point, you should be all done. Your Thunderkin are now ready to do war and lay down withering fire onto your opponent. Magnetization allows you to switch out the weapons to pick the one that best suits your mission. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you've been following this series, I hope you enjoyed the journey of painting up this 1300 point army as much as I did. Thank you so much for tuning in and if you enjoyed this and the series, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Happy hobbying, fighting for the glory of the Votan and I will see you soon.